Alina and welcome to my All Analog Photography channel. In the previous video, I carried out a massive experiment putting a lot of films through different airport security scanners. If you have not seen it yet, go ahead and watch it first because it will give you all the necessary background information, specifically why you should be careful with airport x-ray and especially those new round CT scanners. After flying with film myself through a lot of different airports and collecting a lot of other people's experiences, I will present to you an action plan for maximizing the probability of having great images on film when traveling. First of all, what you can do to minimize damage in general is taking low sensitivity 50 or 100 ISO film along. With those, you'll likely be totally fine however much you go through the X-ray scanners and even if you encounter CT scanners. I took this one roll of HR50, which is a black and white 50 ISO film through 7 X-ray and 3 CT scanners, did get base fog, but the film remained completely usable. If you throw a protective bag on top of low ISO films, especially in CT scanners, then it's even better. But with 400 ISO film, it gets tricky. Even though I verified and re-verified the fact that 400 ISO film can pass through the X-ray scanners up to six times without too much, too dramatic visible damage, we still have to keep in mind that we are dealing with humans and potential human errors. I had my film fogged uh, very, very badly twice in the X-ray scanners without waves, just fog, but it was very bad. One time it was in Frankfurt and the person in front of me probably had something suspicious in the luggage. So their train and mine spent at least five full minutes inside that scanner and I had films from Mexico, by the way, inside. Another time it was out of all places in the world in Vatican. There I believe they simply had the scanner miscalibrated because it was um, like 37, like 100 Fahrenheit degrees heat. The scanners were standing outdoors and the security guards look barely alive, like they're passing out. So in both cases, I had very heavy fogging. And last year, I got super clear bad waves on my film, which flew from Greece. So now, with more and more CD scanners, the threat of fully ruining your films is increasingly real. They're already in Frankfurt, they are in... Um, where else? In London, in the US, in many airports, they are in Milan and Amsterdam, obviously, all of them, and in Geneva. So not all the countries have staff that's trained about the CD scanners and film sensitivity, and you might be forced to put your role through that evil machine. This is just bad luck and something no one is safe from, and that is why I would like to share the best working advice for passing airport security with film. And just in case, I have to mention that I'm talking about non-developed film. Once the film is processed, once you have your images, your negatives, it is safe. Unless, of course, you burn it. But that's not happening in the scanner, so you're fine. Okay, security and hand checks. First of all, arrive to the airport early to give yourself time for the discussions around the security. They're gonna happen, sometimes very long ones. If you're running late, you'll be nervous and then they can pressure you and push films through the scanner. Before the flight, get yourself some Delta or T-Max 30 to 100 rolls and not one, maybe three, and put them together with all of your films in a transparent Ziploc bag in a way that the magical 30 to 100 number is very clearly visible. That is important. You have to know that there is no scanner in the entire world that does not fog this type of film. If the airport security refuses to hand check it, kindly ask to talk to their supervisor. The supervisors are usually better informed, better trained about the scanner limitations. While they look for the supervisor, Google quickly the model of their scanner and have a data sheet open on your phone and ready. So that is just in case, but usually it's not needed. The rest of the films in here are usually also hand-checked 
because they are in the same bag. You have to have just a sufficient amount of those 3200s. Here I actually have a couple of empty boxes. That works as well. In 90% of the cases, you will easily get a hand check, but for the other 10%, it can go any imaginable way. For example, this staff can only agree to hand check those specific films and not the others. So if you have 800 ISO film, maybe repackaging it in other boxes, in the Delta 3200 boxes, or over labeling with a sticker with a higher ISO can help because I found out that X-ray scanners can cause damage to 800 ISO film with a lot of repeated exposure and even in protective bags. So you can watch my previous video for more details. If you're totally refused a hand check, which should really not happen, then throw your films into a protective bag if you have it. In case of a CD scanner, it will not fully help, but it will cut at least half of the radiation, which is sometimes good enough. If your films were already exposed before going through a CT scanner, then unfortunately you can only develop and pray. For black and white films, you might have some luck. There are those anti-fogging agents uh, that you can use. And for color, I guess Photoshop is your best friend. However, if the films were not yet shot, then there is definitely something that can be done to give you good results, which is overexposure. It means that you take, for example, an 800 isofilm and expose it like a 400 or 200 isofilm. How do you know how much exactly to overexpose? I made a table for you, which you can download from my website, linabesanova.photography. And in this table, it indicates how to shoot your film if it's been through one, two or three CT scanners with a protective bag or without. The results won't be identical to the original film, but absolutely usable. However, I do not believe it to be adequate that films are pushed through those CD scanners. And if high ISO films go through X-ray scanners, that's also not okay. And it definitely calls for writing a complaint. How do you do this? It's perfectly understandable that the security staff job is stressful. They deal with the weirdest people and the most awkward requests. And also, you know, they're humans and sometimes they don't make very optimal judgments. That being said, it is in the interest of our community and it's our responsibility, not anybody else's, to be firm, polite and raise awareness about hand-checking films. I'm someone who gets easily intimidated, unfortunately, and I'm not starting conflicts or confrontations. Not a lot, at least. Uh, this is why in stressful situations like the security check, I just freeze, especially if I'm under pressure and I need to run for my flight. Uh, last time, just a few days before this video, in Nice airport, I was literally pushed through the X-ray with my 3200 film as the security lady claimed their scanner was safe even up to 3200. I then googled the type of the scanner and the data sheet clearly said 1600 ISO is the maximum. So I went back, I found the head of the security and filed a complaint about this case. This is something you can also do or if you come back home and discover damage on your film, you can write a complaint to the airport. I myself am not this type of person. I easily forget negative experiences, like I don't care about this but I always think I'm doing it for the community and for others, not for myself. So guys, do it. It's all our responsibility. Another thing to protect my work that I started doing is developing on location. Even if you travel with just hand luggage, it's quite possible, and I did it many times, to take along a small tank, a thermometer, a beaker, and chemistry either as powder or in mini bottles. I usually take a mix of both. I like my Adox FX39 developer in a 100 milliliter bottle. It can even go in uh, uh, hand luggage easily because it's very small. And the fixer I prefer to mix from powder. This one uh, is dust-free. You can mix it in non-ventilated environments. It also has 
almost no smell. So yeah, I've been through a number of uh, hotel rooms with uh, with this setup and uh, it's it's been fine. And I usually don't take a black bag, but just load my films in the bathroom at night. Although once in India, I had a bathroom which had so many light leaks. I don't know how I did not burn my film. So maybe a uh, black bag is still a good thing to take along. So those are the things you can implement when traveling. But of course, it all still stays stressful and there's always this risk of damage as far as i understood and the scanner manufacturers did not respond to a press inquiry about this nobody actually really tested film in the scanners and 1600 is just a random number calculated based on the radiation intensity and not an actual sheet film in a black bag only going through a scanner at maximum intensity that would be a proper test I doubt anybody did it. Anyway, X-raying films is something that really, really has to change. We as photographers, as artists, have to have the right for hand checking at the airports. There is just no way around it. The reason why those test videos got a big delay in publishing is that Silver Grain Classics reached out to us and we are uniting forces with Adox and Photo Invex and hopefully in the nearest future other companies can join and we're starting a big official campaign for the right to handshake for analog photographers. We will be publishing the action plan on the website handshakefilm.com. So subscribe to the newsletter. You will only be getting information relevant to the cause, but it's important that when the plan is finalized, we all act together. We will need all of the community's support and I know how amazing you are. And I absolutely believe that with enough effort, we can change the security hand check procedures, at least in Europe and the USA, and hopefully it will be a good example for the rest of the world. If any of you have good ideas, maybe connections to the companies which run security at airports or to scanner manufacturers, or maybe you yourself work at security, please write me a direct message on Instagram. I believe that all of us together can change this system. But meanwhile, do buy yourself some Delta 3200. Thank you for watching, sharing, liking, and following my YouTube channel and Instagram. See you in the next video. Bye.